I recently bought myself a compressor to use on my car restoration channel. Unfortunately I was told it might only be suitable for light use but someone suggested it would be a great addition to the wood workshop for tools like brad nailers and staple guns. Whilst I hadn't planned on making a dedicated unboxing video of the compressor, a few people said they'd like to see it as it was something they were looking to buy also. So whilst not the best footage, the video should give a rough idea of what a basic compressor looks like. I've never owned one and it's all new to me so if you spot me doing something wrong then by all means please let me know. There weren't many parts to assemble by the looks of things. It wasn't too heavy either, around 26 kilograms I think. It was fairly awkward to get out the box so I just ripped the packaging away and lifted it out. So this is the Clark Ranger 7 slash 240 7.5 CFM 24 litre 2 horsepower compressor and has a maximum 8 bar or 116 psi maximum working pressure. I'll be honest I've absolutely no idea what all that means yet but I'm sure after a few uses it'll all start to make sense. I also realised at this point that I bought the wrong one as I intended to buy the oil free version but it was too late to send it back now. The only parts to fit were the wheels, the rubber foot, an oil plug, a filter and of course I had to add the oil. It took me a while to realise but after several attempts trying to screw the oil plug in I realised that it was a push fit. At present I've only bought a couple of tools, most of which came in this little kit. To test the compressor for now I'll just attach the blower. There is a sprayer in the kit but I'm not sure if that's going to be tricky to use with such a small compressor. Before use I added the oil, hopefully to the correct level. Initially I just went and connected the air hose to the blower but from what I understood from the instructions I needed to use some kind of tape. I've just used what I had available but I need to check that this is suitable. On startup it's fairly loud as the tank fills with air and I had a couple of jumpy moments when it dumped air out for some reason. From startup it took approximately 2 minutes to fill the tank full of air. I don't know what pressure the blower is to be used at so for now I just used it at lower pressure to be on the safe side. After a few tests I switched it off and released the air from the tank by opening the valve partially. Apparently after use you have to drain the tank which I think is for condensation build up. I placed a small bowl underneath the valve but nothing came out. I'm guessing it's because I probably only used it for a few seconds. 
I then charged the tank a second time and it seemed to charge a little quicker this time. So I gave my CNC machine a quick blast of air in all those places that I can't get to with a vacuum and it removed the dust quite well. And I'm looking forward to seeing how the compressor performs once I've bought a few suitable air tools. If you have any questions on the compressor then just let me know and I'll try my best to answer them but it is still all new to me. Prior to making the videos on YouTube I worked as a firefighter for nearly 20 years serving my community and helping to save lives and promote the fire safety message. Unfortunately an accumulation of many upsetting scenes became too much for my mind to cope with and after years of failed therapy I was retired from the service on the grounds of ill health and signed off medically for many employment. To keep myself busy, both body and mind, I developed an interest in woodworking and car mechanics and with already having a hobby in filming and music I combined my interests and started making videos here on YouTube filming, editing and composing my own music for my woodworking and car restoration channels Smugwood and Smugwood Mini. Unfortunately to produce such videos comes at a price and with minimal funds after being retired from employment I've turned to Patreon to see if there is additional support out there which could allow me to continue making the woodworking and car restoration videos. In return for support there are various levels which are explained in more depth at the Patreon link below but includes the chance to win one of my YouTube projects made throughout the year and also inclusion into random prize draws open to patrons only. In addition I'd like to thank everybody who already subscribes to my channels or watches, comments, likes and shares them as it all goes to help support my channels and for that I'm really appreciative. It's my hope that I can continue making the videos for the foreseeable future. Thanks once again for your continued support.